There are many misconceptions about oil painting mediums. For some, they are the secret formula of a good painting. Let's say right away this is not true. There is no secret recipe for a successful painting that would work every time, that would be too good. On the other hand, the medium does play a decisive role in the painting process, and if it is not adapted to the technique with which it is used, it can create more problems than it solves. The real secret of the medium is that there is no secret. Each medium has its advantages and disadvantages and must be adapted to the needs of the artist in each situation. So this is the angle from which we'll approach this tutorial. Which medium is best suited to each need? How to choose wisely depending on what you want to paint and the technique you use. Now first of all, let's quickly explain what a medium is. Simply put, the medium is the liquid or viscous vehicle in which the pigment is held. Without a medium, the paint would only be some sort of powder with no consistency. The medium allows the paint to spread on the surface and more importantly, it dries or rather cures after a certain amount of time. Technically, any tube of paint already contains a medium by default, usually simply a drying oil such as linseed oil or safflower oil. Most of the time, when we think about mediums as artists, we're actually talking about working mediums, that is, mediums that are added to the mix to bring certain specific qualities to the paint. Depending on what you put in your medium, you can do different things increase or decrease the drying time, change the appearance, matte or glossy, change the fluidity, make the paint more liquid or more pasty, finally change the proportion of oil to make the paint fatter or leaner, which allows to follow the famous fat over lean rule. So let's see what are the best mediums depending on what you want. Fast drying. If you want fast drying paint, the best choice is definitely an alkyd medium like Liquin or Galkit, but there are many other brands. If you're just starting out, you're going to think that I'm starting with the most complicated already. What the hell is an alkyd? Sounds complicated. In fact, if you leave out the chemistry, it's not complicated at all. On the contrary, alkyd mediums are ready to use. You don't need to make your own mixtures to create your own recipe, which makes them very simple, easy to pick up. Also, according to Windsor and Newton, they make the paint film more flexible, so in theory, when using them, you don't need to worry too much about the fat of lean rule, so just remember to use about the same amount for each new layer, or maybe a little bit more for each new layer. In general, don't use too much liquid because it makes the paste too slippery and transparent, so a small amount is enough. Alkyd mediums come in different textures. The standard is the thixotropic texture, did I say it right? Which is like a gel at rest and liquefies when mixed. It's very interesting to work with this texture because it holds itself together perfectly well and yet it's very fluid and flows really well. You can also find alkyd impasto gels, which are the same product but denser to better hold the brush strokes and avoid the slippery side of the alkyd. There's also a liquid version, which is, to be honest, less interesting. And for those who are concerned about solvents, know that you can find alkyds without solvents, which are less toxic than the traditional ones, which do contain some types of solvent. Gamblin produces a solvent-free alkyd in gel and liquid form, as well as Mgram in a liquid form. Be aware that these products do not have the same functionalities as the traditional alkyds, simply because they do not contain any solvent, and solvent is kind of needed. They do not dry as quickly and require some compromises in the process, especially when you want to paint in several layers. Consider that they are closer to what using pure oil would be. And as for pure oil, for painting at a prima, they work very well though. 
Finally, because we were initially talking about drying times, note that there are other additives that reduce the drying time. These are called secatives and their use is a little bit more complex and I'll certainly will not have time to talk about them here. Please note that I can only scratch the surface of this subject. There are thousands of possible combinations for mediums, so if you want to learn more and really get into the details, I can only invite you to take a look at my complete oil painting course, which goes through all the additives as well as other technical aspects you need to know to get started seriously. I'll leave you the link in the description. Last time I put a link with a discount. There are still some left, but it's still a limited offer. So now is the time to take advantage of it if you're interested in the course. All right, back to the video. Maybe you're one of those who think slow drying what for? Isn't oil paint already slow drying enough? Why would you want to lengthen the drying time? Well, just imagine this. You are Claude Monet. You're a rather talented painter and you have forged your reputation by your ability to paint landscapes in plein air, always à la prima, that is to say, wet on wet. So your entire thing is to not let the paint dry. The problem is that sometimes it takes you more than a day to finish a painting, but you need to work wet on wet. So how can you continue the same painting for several days without letting it dry? In this case, your medium of choice will be poppy seed oil, just oil. You can't get much simpler than that. Of course, what works for poppy seed oil also works for any type of artist oil, linseed oil, walnut oil, safflower oil. They all work and they extend the drying time considerably. The more oil, the longer the drying time. The different oils, they all work in the same way and they differ only in their tendency to yellow and in their curing time. Poppy seed oil is the slowest drying of all the artist's oil and it's particularly pale, so it yellows very little. And this is why the impressionist paintings have, for the most part, kept the sharpness of their original colors. And for the alla prima technique, when you really want to finish everything wet on wet, it's the ideal medium. It's super simple and can extend the drying time by five to six days. Just be careful, this is not truly a, a very complex medium, it's just oil, it's pure fat. So be careful not to add too much of it, never more than 25% in relation to the volume of paint. A few drops are enough, honestly, otherwise you'll have problems and your paintings will never dry. And another problem with this pure oil medium is that apart from a single layer technique, its use is quite limited and much less versatile to paint indirectly with pure oil. That is to say, to make multiple layers wet on dry. Indeed, with long drying time, poppy seed oil is not really recommended for underpaintings. So this is one of the limitations that you have to know. Increasing the gloss. If you want to increase the gloss, you can add a resin to your paint. Resin has the advantage of adding plastic qualities to the paint without the need to add too much oil. As we've seen, too much oil is not good, so we often balance the mix by adding a solvent and sometimes a resin to get more gloss. Resins offer a good compromise between oil and solvents with interesting properties. They add body to the medium, so artists can use less oil in a medium without making the mixture too runny and too diluted, and they improve the gloss and plasticity of the paint film. Here is a recipe from Ralph Myers, the artist's handbook of material and techniques. One part stand oil, one part Damar varnish, five parts turpentine, and a few drops of secatives, about 5%, but this is optional. Decrease the gloss. Most often in oil painting we try to increase the gloss because applying paint on the surface tends to create matte patches here and there. So most artists want to counter this effect with more gloss. Oil paint is naturally glossy, so it's rare 
that people want to go for a matte look but if you decide to you're free to do so so just go for a matte surface the advantage of a matte painting is that it does not produce reflections and glare be aware that blacks will be much duller with a matte appearance to reduce the gloss you have several options personally i do not use any but it's always good to know egg mediums some of them are sold ready to use. Those are the ones that I recommend if you begin. Beeswax medium, same thing if you're a beginner, choose a ready to use product or refer to my course. Impasto mediums containing marble powder or chalk. You can also make your own putty by mixing marble powder and oil. Now that I've mentioned this list, I'd like to warn you, it's better to paint with a normal medium, i.e. a glossy one for a painting, or a satin medium, and then, if you wish, cover it with a matte varnish, but only in the end. Universal painting medium. What if you don't have any specific needs, but you just want a medium that can be good for everything? If you're simply looking for a reliable medium for most situations. In this case, you want to look for the following qualities. The right fluidity, good drying time, a nice aspect, good archivability, little yellowing and a solid structure for the paint layer. For all that, we will choose linseed stand oil, which is derived from linseed oil. It's a polymerized linseed oil, but it yellows less over time and holds well over time. As it cannot be used alone, we'll add a solvent to it to dilute it. And for that, we will choose Odoness Mineral Spirits. And this is all we'll mix. It's a rather simple but effective recipe. That said, in what proportions should we mix them? We'll need a medium that contains neither too much oil nor too little, one that's neither too fat nor too lean and that precisely makes it easy to follow the fat over lean rule. As we've already mentioned, the fat over lean rule is an essential method to ensure that your painting will stand the test of time. This means that each successive coat must contain a little more oil and will take longer to dry. Each time you start a new layer, you need to make sure the previous one is dry. If you are pre-mixing your recipes, your medium, and adding it to the paint, you should not prepare just one medium, but three that reflect a changing ratio. So just get at least three containers. Start from one part stand oil to three parts mineral spirits, one part stand oil to two parts mineral spirits and finally a one to one ratio which is going to be lean medium and fat these mixes can be kept in tightly sealed jars you can use little droppers that are very handy make sure to label them with the right ratio inside and use them just as you need start with lean and progressively use more fat if you follow the fat of lean rule, your layers will be solid, less prone to cracking and have better color saturation. And this is the medium that I use on a daily basis as a professional artist and it has never disappointed me. Also the organization in small bottles and the pre-mixing makes working with the fat of lean rule really easy. So if you like working with multiple layers indirectly, you're really going to enjoy the process. You don't even have to worry too much about the fat of lean rule, just fold the bottles. Personally, I use a system of five bottles, but it's the same recipe and the same principles with a few specific tweaks that would take too long to cover here. There are of course a lot of subtleties that I couldn't cover in one video and if you really want to explore all the options of mediums available and discover dozens of different recipes and much more, you can check out my course which is in the description. All right, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. Again, a huge thank you to my Patreon members. This video wouldn't be possible without your support. And if you want to join the community, you'll find a link 
in the description as well. You'll also find the links to both my courses, my oil painting course, my color course. And that's it for today. As always, my friends, joy and inspiration to you. Bye.